Lone Pack Products manufactures a variety of products in its factory. Data for the most recent month's operations appear to the right. Prepare a schedule of cost of goods manufactured for the company. Recall that our schedule of cost of goods manufactured includes both direct materials, direct labor, and manufacturing overhead. Our first step is to calculate our raw materials used in production. To calculate raw materials used in production, we start off with beginning raw material inventory, which was given, and that was $60,000. We add to that our purchases of $690,000, which gives us raw materials available for use of $750,000. This raw material available for use is either used in production or is left over as part of ending raw materials inventory. We're told our ending raw materials inventory is $45,000, so the raw materials used in production must be $705,000. Next, we add to our direct materials or raw materials used in production our direct labor, which we're told is $135,000, and our manufacturing overhead, which was $370,000. This gives us our total manufacturing, over, manufacturing cost for the period, which was $1,000,000. $210,000. In addition to our manufacturing cost incurred for the period, we had beginning work in process inventory of $120,000. This means that our production floor had costs that totaled $1,330,000. Again, that was $120,000 from our beginning work in process inventory and an additional $1,210,000 in manufacturing costs that were added during the period. These costs need to be allocated either to ending work in process inventory or they'll be transferred out to finished goods as cost of goods manufactured. We're told our ending work in process inventory is $130,000. That means the cost of the goods we manufactured or completed is $1,200,000.